Good day, my fellow Thomas and Friends fans. Today, I am going to be bringing you a video that is a little different this time. I am going to be bringing you guys a video that is about me, um, well, not ranking, but more, uh, yeah, counting down my, uh, my, th uh, top five, um, Thomas and Friends spooky episodes. Now, I know, so it's the last week of October, and so I get to, um, rank my favorite, um, seasons. So let's get started. Number five, Stephanie Gets Lost. Now, I know a lot of people will, will would be thinking, well, why is Stephanie Gets Lost at the bottom? Well, I'll tell you. I believe Stephanie Gets Lost is a very spooky episode, although it's not like Haunted Henry, or it's also not like Duncan Gets Spooked. For those stories and scenarios, there, it was, we actually saw a ghost. For this, it was Ari and Bert, and yes, Ari and Bert are very creepy, spooky characters. But, let's just say that, um, this, they, I guess they're not like as scary as something like Old Bailey, or, uh, the ghost of Proteus or something. Um... Especially since they're not really used as uh, mean guys after this season. Anyways, um, I think Stephanie Gets Lost is very spooky. I love the I love how it goes from a light-hearted slice of life episode to a very frightened and horror story that can get make anyone frightened. Toby and Mavis's roles in this are very very good. Uh, although the only thing I find questionable questionable is why did Stepney and his or Nora's driver, you know, ask like have Sir Topham Hat say like I'm allowing you to take this train right, under supervision? But I always thought since I was a kid, Sir Topham Hat knew. Oh, excuse me, sorry. So yeah, it's a good episode, although it's not my favorite. So. Oh, I will say, just because it may be a bit spooky, mean, but it's not my, um, it's not as spooky as something like Haunted Henry. So, on to number four. Number four. Now, before I get on, I will say, I really, really wanted to rank Percy's Ghostly Trick higher, but I don't know, it just kind of, like, topped the others. Um... So the reason why I so I, it is placed number four, but it's above Step and it gets lost. So the reason why I love um, Percy's Ghostly Trick is because number one, it was the first spooky episode I saw on Thomas Percy and the Dragon DVD. Number two, um, I, I how do I put this? It's uh, all this fog in the scene right here. It's so uh, very intimidating, and the atmosphere of the episode, the tone it sets, it's so spooky. Very very spooky indeed. So yeah. I, the fact that even though it was made up, um, even though the story was made up by Percy's driver, it's fine. I thought it was amazing. It, I, it was spooky, yes, but it wasn't. It was really terrifying, and that's why I think of it as better than Stephanie Gets Lost because it's not as it, it, we it, we don't. It's not like Arian Bird because I know what Arian Bird are. I don't see these like these two are just. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, the, this is just so spooky, and I will say coming up in the next scene here, these trees, these were, uh, if you pause it right here, you can, t um, notice that this is Crow's Farm Crossing, but at nighttime or during Halloween, it is legit terrifying. I mean, it's so, um, so, um, scary. I mean, if you try that to a young kid, he would get, he would actually urinate his pants, uh, excuse me. But yeah, I would give this episode a 9 out of 10. It's so spooky. Look at those trees. The way everything is lit and all the tone. It's just amazing. The only thing I would... The only reason why I don't rank this higher is because I really would have loved to see the deleted scene of Terrence and the cart. Um, but that besi but that's, besides that, that's the only thing letting me down. Everything else is fine. Number 3. Rusty and the Boulder. Now, I will say, I, uh, when I first saw Rusty and the Boulder, I knew when the first music came on, it was so scary. I knew this was going to, it was very intimidating. I knew this was going to be the freakiest and scariest story. The reason why I like Rusty, uh, I like um, Rusty and the Boulder is because it's a very, like, this could actually take place during Halloween, but it's not. This story is just so intimidating. The boulder, yes, may have Gordon's face on it, or a face of Gordon, but I'm telling you, it's just so, how do I put this, just, 
It's spooky. We don't, the engines don't see the face on the boulder. It's so intimidating and so, it's like, it, it, it's just so scary. Now, it's somewhat, is somewhat like Stephanie, um, gets lost before the, but it's not, also not. Before the, like, in this scene here with, you know, Thumper doing the mining and excavating, it's a lighthearted story and you think this is going to be a slice of life feel. But you know in the back of your head it's not because that boulder is going to come on down and end up, and end up crashing on, or end up going to crash on the ground. I, if you look at this scene right here, besides Rusty's face, um, it can be spooky because look, that slab of rock c is could fell on the ground. Imagine if you were standing right there and that thing clomped you on the head. You would have been well, you would have been injured and had a big concussion. Uh, Rusty, even the besides ex ignoring the uh, faces uh, and the and the different models, I think it's fine because. I, I never really noticed as a kid. I mean, I did, but it wasn't, you know. Look at that shot there. Even though that has Gordon's face on it, look at that. That is so legit spooky because you don't, because we are the only, audience is the only one who sees the bowler. The ending lines, I'll put at the end, but at the last lines of this is so spooky. It could terrify anyone. I'll go to that. by the yards. Rusty is sure that on a clear night it is gazing up at the mountain and that its sighs are being carried on the wind to where it once used to stand proud and silent. I wonder if Rusty is right. That is spooky and the, those lines from Alec Baldwin are so so intimidating. It is not funny. That is so scary. Now, I was going to wrap up the Rusty of the Rescue, or sorry, Rusty Saves the Day. Sorry, Rusty and the Boulder, sorry. Um, but I was, I'll was i wrap it up here and then move on here to number two. Um, but I think yeah, the explosion was so cool and amazing. I didn't know what was in it, and it was so amazing. It was a bit intimidating as a kid, but now it's amazing. It was a just a big old explosion. Now, the reason why I like... Now, number two here, and the reason why I like... I rank this above um, Rusty and the Boulder is because, number one, it's more special spooky than the rust in the boulder we see boulder but what happens is during rusty's ghost story we see that engine yes but we don't see like the face or anything and then later when duncan thinks he sees the engine of of the fireflies it takes up the shape and we don't see the face and it's just animated we this says just so much mystery to it the unlucky tug did an entire video about this that it was all about tone i'd go subscribe to him yeah i'm telling you something this is just a big, this is a spookiest, spookiest, um, just ever. This is just so, and it plays with tone really well. It goes from a, a, a very uh, simple story to being a bit of a spooky story to being a, it goes from a simple slice of life story to a intimidating story to a spooky story. And I will say, Alec Baldwin's Scottish accent for Duncan is hilarious. He got the nail on the head with these um, Scottish engines, at least in season five. And and um, Michael Brandon did a great job in season s uh, uh, seven for the Scottish. And I will say, in this shot here, I'm telling you, look at that. My god, that is spooky. And he drowns. He was never found again. But many a workman will tell you that when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home. He never reaches the other side. That story is so spooky to me. That's why I love this episode for it being the second. Now, on to the first. Okay. Now, Haunted Henry is um, my favorite episode because of Haunted Episode because it does the best Halloween episode ever. This is the most beloved episode in the fandom, and for good reason, too. Besides it using things like stock footage, and um, it's amazing. This episode of Haunted Henry is amazing. Edward, yes, it may be strange of where Edward got it that from, but... 
I always thought it gets haunting. This episode is haunting. This scared the living devil out the living crap out of me. Look at this slow fog. They use the same fog from Percy's Ghost Trick. Um, I'm going to turn it up here, and I want you to listen. It's an amber lamp, murmured his driver. That means proceed with caution. Who's there? No one replied. Henry crept slowly forward. That scene, and even this one here, even though I just turned it down, um, but I just am telling you, it is so scary. This is just so intimidating. I found this so spooky because, number one, we didn't know where the, what, why that signal was red, why the gates were shut, and why that fogman's coat was there, or why that's, um, the, uh, amber and lamp were there. And I'm telling you, that shot there, that spooked the living devil out of me. That is so scary right now. That is basically nightmares fuel to me. Well, not really nightmare fuel, but you get my point. And look at that face. That is a horrifying haunted Henry face. Forget the ghost of Proteus. This is the haunted episode you should watch. I'm telling you something. This is scary. Season 5 outdid itself for being action-packed, but its spooky episodes were amazing. Alec Baldwin's narration was um, was so spooky. So that's why I think of this episode of Haunted Henry being my all-time favorite ep haunted episode. I really don't have any honorable men honorable mentions, but if I had to um, decide of one episode that I didn't really, you know, find spooky was Oliver Earth's Fine. Look, I think it's a good remake and all. I think it's a great story, but it's not like Haunted Henry. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night or day wherever you are. Please enjoy video, and I will see you. You and I will have, and I'll, I'll see you later.